Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for Paramix Discovery 22. My name is Malcolm and today I'm going to show you one of the new features coming in a month's time. And this feature is called Clear Exit Adherence on Links. Now before we look at this feature, let's understand what we mean by Clear Exit Adherence. So I'm going to look at an example first of all of what we can currently do in Paramix Discovery with Clear Exit Adherence on Nodes. I'm just speeding this model up to get a bit more traffic on it. It's a signal control junction and we're going to use this to see how clear exit adherence currently works. Now I've got a queue now building up to the northeast of the model and what I'm looking at is the traffic coming from the southwest and you can see that it currently will move into the junction irrespective of whether there's space on the other side of the road to take up and so vehicles can get stuck in the middle of the junction. Now by applying clear exit adherence we can avoid that and we do it by selecting the movement and then in the properties for that movement we've got this value clear exit adherence which by default is zero. I'm going to put that up to 100 and that means that 100% essentially or all of my vehicles will adhere to the correct behaviour which means they won't go into the centre of the junction unless there's space on the other side to move into. So it's similar to having a yellow box in the road, uh, which is really telling drivers that you can't uh, wait in that space. You need to make sure you can clear it. Let's go back to the Visualize tab and run the simulation again and just build up this traffic to see how that's changed the behavior. OK, so we've got the queue again in the north east. And now you can see that my vehicles coming from the southwest, although they've got a green light, they're waiting there. And I can see, for example, this vehicle has a speed of zero miles per hour, so it's waiting until there's space on the other side of the road to move into. So that's how clear exit adherence currently works. So let's look now at how we've developed this feature further in Paramix Discovery version 22. And to look at that, we're going to focus in on a different junction this time, a roundabout. And we can see at this roundabout that there is a queue forming back from a pedestrian crossing through the roundabout and out the other side. So there's lots of traffic in this model and it's queuing back through the roundabout. Now what that means is that the traffic coming from the north is unable to enter the roundabout at all because the traffic coming from the north will have a medium priority whereas the circulating carriageway will have a major priority. And even though there's space on the other side of the road for the traffic from the north to get uh, through, it's not being allowed to do that and we can see that it's stationary uh, as we play the simulation on here. OK, so let's have a look at what we can do about that using clear exit adherence. Now, similar to the first example we looked at, we need to apply uh, the clear exit adherence property to a movement. And in this case, it's the movement on the circulating carriageway at this location. So we're going to ramp that up to 100 again. And then the new feature is then being able to select the link uh, after the movement and apply an extension to the clear exit adherence. So I'm selecting that link and in my properties I can now toggle on extend clear exit. And this means that vehicles on the circulating carriageway won't go into the link space unless they can get through the junction. Now in the styles panel of the network review section, when that's toggled on, I can see where clear exit has been applied. So let's go back to the visualize tab and refresh and I'll turn that up to maximum to get some traffic flowing on the network here. And we'll just slow that down now to watch it. So what you can see immediately now is that the traffic on the circulating carriageway is waiting uh, where we've applied the clear exit and leaving that space free and they're only going to move when they know they can get onto the link exiting the junction and that leaves a path clear for vehicles from the north to come through. Now when the space becomes available in the east of the model then my circulating traffic will move through again and when there isn't space available they will stop and allow the traffic from the north to come through. So now with the ability to extend clear exit adherence over the link space, it really opens up the possibilities within Paramix Discovery to recreate the type of courtesy behavior that you would often see in real life. 
So I hope you find this video tutorial useful and that this new feature which is coming in May 2019 will really help you to make your models more accurate and more realistic. Next week we'll be continuing our series of video tutorials for Paramix Discovery 22. So I look forward to speaking with you then. Bye for now.